Hey writers, this is Lee Jessup, career coach for emerging and professional screenwriters, as well as screenwriting professor for the David Lynch graduate program in cinematic studies. Um, for today's nugget, I wanted to continue to build on something that I did in a previous video, which is talking about representation. I know representation is something that a lot of writers think about, look forward to when thinking about getting out into the professional space. And so with that in mind, I wanted to continue informing you on this and specifically in today's video talk about literary agents, right? Literary agents were on the forefront of talent discovery, breaking in new talent um, in the 80s, 90s, into the early 2000s um, and have made quite a name for themselves. Um, agents work a little bit different than managers. And if you're not sure about managers, check out the previous video that I did on that. Um, agents usually are part of a larger agency um, right, they, they are under the agency umbrella and therefore under in agency mandates. So they may be um, working, representing individual clients and or they may also have covering elements to their job. So that means that they would be covering a studio, a network, um, gaining the information from the town and then bringing them back uh, for some actionable results to their agencies, to the other agents that they work with. Um, an agent is usually heavily in, in the incoming call business, um, or at least that is where they want to get to with their clients. And, and there's a huge difference with managers who are more on the outgoing calls, let me introduce you to so-and-so type of business. Agents are more about incoming call business for existing clients because agents are beholden to their agencies and as part of their pay structure um, are incentivized by specific sales expectations booking revenue for said clients. Um, agents are going to usually re represent a lot more writers than a manager with, or a manager will, sorry, English, apparently it's failing me. Um, so an agent is going to represent a lot more clients because they're doing a lot less handholding on a regular basis. They're doing a lot less development. They're doing a lot less day to day, and they're more focused on closing business, identifying business, um, booking revenue, for the client and the agency. Now, for an agent, you traditionally would pay 10% for the agent and the agency. So you can be with an agency and have four different agents on your team, but you would still only um, pay them, uh, the agency, 10%. They're going to be responsible, they being the agency and the agent, are going to be responsible for collecting fees. They're going to be responsible for overseeing negotiations. They're going to be more heavily involved in TV staffing. Uh, which does tend to be a volume game. Um, so those are the things that you're going to look to, to get from an agent. And if you have an agent and a manager, then the hope is that they would work in harmony, um, one doing more of kind of the big picture development strategy, content strategy, the other going to the town, um, getting material out there, answering incoming calls, picking and choosing what would be right for the writer in their career. So. One day, hopefully, um, you have an agent manager, each one of them doing something unique and specific for you that would allow you to move your career forward in the most effective way possible. Keep looking for more videos on the representation topic. We will talk about when you are ready for representation um, and just keep building on this. So until then, keep moving forward.